So the other method I'm going to show you uh, with this snare. Uh, the other method of pitching isn't quite as easy, um, but it's not too bad either. It's just you have to have a little bit of a trained ear to do it right. But it's, it's really helpful to have a spectrogram loaded um, on the master. So I'm going to use Wave Candy. It comes with FL Studio. And basically I'm just going to drag this corner of Wave Candy and make it um, tall and a little bit wide. And then uh, that sets it to be a spectrum. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the update all the way down so that it updates very quickly. Um, I'm going to set the resolution to the highest value. And then I'm going to turn the scale up. And you can see that turning the scale up gives me um, kind of a keyboard that goes along with the different um, you know, frequencies in the spectrogram. And this is really helpful uh, for tuning samples, drums and synths, uh, resampled synth sounds, anything. So you know, it, it's another great option if Edison you know, doesn't quite work or anything. So when I play this snare, you can see kind of the fundamental is what I want to pitch. You know, I want this here to be in the key with the, uh, the track. Um, so you can see it's kind of playing on um, F. Um, yeah, it's kind of a little bit between F and F sharp, um, but I'm just going to set it to be F. So I'm going to do the same thing I did before, you know, in that instrument um, properties tab. I'm going to right click F. And now it's playing close um, to a C. And now after I do this, I want some kind of reference to help me um, tune it, you know, in case it's a little bit off, if it's off by a fraction of a semitone, if it's off by a few cents. Um, so I'm going to do that using Citrus. I'm going to load up the default um, Citrus preset. Oops. And I'm going to, um, you know, kind of match the pitch. So you can hear now they're both in the same octave. And now, you know, I'm just going to kind of make this sound a little bit more like the drum sound. Um, you don't have to do this, but I find it helpful. So I'm just going to, you know, set the envelope so that the citrus preset is more uh, percussive. And the loudness matches it better because that, that helps me to hear it more clearly. And now I can hear that um, there is a bit of a difference between the pitch. You know, the snare is a little bit higher pitched. So what I'm going to do is yeah, I'm just going to play, uh, kind of alternate them in the step sequencer. And this will allow me to really focus on the pitch and I can adjust the pitch in the channel settings of that snare so that it matches the um, citrus as closely as possible. Now you might find that the higher harmonics uh, kind of make it difficult to hear the pitch perfectly especially if your ears aren't um, particularly trained yet. So to help that, what you can do is load uh, an EQ and high pass, uh, or sorry, low pass everything except for that fundamental. And now you, um, you know, you'll be able to hear a little bit more clearly the pitch of the, just the fundamental. Um, so it sounds like uh, 
It sounds like this is a little bit too low pitched now. So I'm going to make it a little bit higher. And I also find it a little bit helpful sometimes to play, you know, a little bit of um, a pattern, you know, changing notes. Um, and you, know, you can take the time to perfect that. Uh, I think that is pretty close, uh, close enough for this video anyway. Um, but yeah, you know, you just have to use your ears. Uh, you can use these different techniques like filtering off the upper harmonics um, and kind of trying to make the citrus preset match the drum sound a little bit better in terms of the volume envelope and everything. And yeah, so you know, once you are satisfied with that, then you know your drum sound will be pitched um, to be accurate with the keyboard. So if you play a C, it will play a C. Um, and then you know you can play it in whatever note uh, makes it match the key of your song. So you might play um, an E if your song is in the key of E. Um, and then you just make that you know, pattern in the piano roll. So those are the two different methods that I use to pitch uh, not only drums, but other samples as well. Uh, hopefully that made sense. Uh, if you have any questions about either of those um, processes or the techniques, uh, just le leave a comment in the comment section. Uh, but now I'm going to talk a little bit about tips um, and, and that kind of stuff for pitching.